I went through, I'd say, a dark situation in my life. But I called him up. Uh, it was it was late at night. Um, I remember I was crying. I was like, hey, I know you're going through a lot. And honestly, I am. And I just kind of want to put everything in the past behind us. And maybe we could try our best to check in with each other and kind of be there for each other. And then he told me, he's like, this is like the wake up call I needed. I want nothing more than, you know, to have a relationship with you. And I was like, yeah, let's just, you know, slate clean. And were you smiling at your phone for? My dog. Uh, <laughs> can is I that just, such a crime? Is that such a crime? A man can't love his dog. I don't know. That's crazy. I've never smiled in my entire life. I do it once, and I got you on my back. <laughs> what is, the hell is are this, you smiling about? Is this being recorded? Yeah. Well, guess what? You just got put on blast. <laughs> you fool. Welcome to episode 152. Is that it? I think so. That's is right. It, is that right? right. That dropouts. Sense. And I got a, I've got an exponential amount of drama to get into you have drama to get into um hit the intro music please <laughs> say that, about. that is crazy what are you smiling about well i don't know if he's talking to her girl no you're he's always curious. you're always bitter no not the way you said it you sound like you're i was gonna say bi curious but that is not the right context <laughs> um yeah, we got some drama. We do? What's the... Some tea. What's that? Oh, you don't know? No. Because it might involve you. <laughs> Wait, what? You sweating a little bit more than you were? Uh, well, now Are you I, secreting? Now I am. No. I'm like... What's wrong? I don't like that what word. What do you mean? It what is, do you like, huh? <laughs> not, not secreting? What do you mean? Oh, I am just in my own home. Um, you know, I come downstairs to walk my dog and I go to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know I don't want to talk well, I'm about not, I'm not bringing anything else up, but let's just say there was a purse here that was not Alyssa's. It was not. And Alyssa wanted me that. to go through it to see who, whose it was. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, I bet you did. I know <laughs> no, you did. I said, because the no. first thing you said when I saw you this morning, you go, so who is the girl? <laughs> <laughs> that was I the said, first thing. It wasn't like, hey, how are you? Nuh-uh. No, no. I saw you upstairs and I said, hey, and then we ended it. And then uh, I came back downstairs and I said, so who's the girl? <laughs> you know, but the, you know that, hey, wasn't the first thing on her mind. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm, I'm just walking. Well, I'm walking around, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll eat some oatmeal. I'm out of peanut butter. Okay. Life's looking rough. And what do I, I see a, a Prada purse. First of fancy. all, fancy, very fancy. And I'm like, whose purse is this? And then Alyssa goes, I don't know. And I was like, should we go through it to see what it is? As a joke, and she goes, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Alyssa. So I would have never have gone through it. Yeah, you would have let me go through it. I was yes. going with the bit. You would have let me go bit. through it, though. Yeah, I would have let you. <laughs> She's like, absolutely. You can take that bullet any day. Alyssa, do you want to talk about what you heard at 6 in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I just heard a lot of singing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Who brings a girl home? <laughs> And just he, we hear the strumming of a guitar and just wailing of. Ah! I don't know if this is a kink thing. Just terribly it's played acoustic a, music. It's it's not a kink thing. It was. I brought this individual home and girl or guy, no one knows. Girl, okay, and okay, I would have said guy? woman. Well, okay, well you you prefaced it with girl or guy, nobody knows. So I was just going based off of what you prefaced. And I was bringing it back to a bit that we did on the podcast before. With one of our guests who, and probably nobody understands. The what? The John episode. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah. let's keep going. People are already turning out. Um, Retention. Okay, so I brought this individual home. I was giving them uh, a tour of the house, and eventually we got up to my like room and studio. <laughs> what are you saying? Eventually, we ventured up into my room. <laughs> you brought a girl into your bed room. Okay. <laughs> okay. And she saw my guitars and she was like, Oh my God, do you play? And I, that's how I know she's down bad. Cause uh, no girls ever wanted a guy to play acoustic guitar when uh, they get back to his place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so I said, yeah. Or were you hinting at it? Were you picking and, it up and, and like, you're like waving it around, like cleaning it. And she's like, do you play guitar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you ever seen one of these? And you're just like, oh, wait, let me move my guitars. They're like, she's like, they're not even in the way. Let me move my guitars. <laughs> oh, all the strings are tuned. Do you All play? six of them. You want to hear what a G chord sounds like? Well, I'll try, trust me, you didn't find that spot. <laughs> <laughs> so she was just like, do you play? And I said, yeah. And 
we spent a, a, quite a while uh, going through just like her favorite songs. She's like, how do you play this song? And so I looked up how to play it and I would play it and then she would sing along. And is yeah. that what you heard, Alyssa? This was <laughs> Alyssa thought someone might have been breaking in. <laughs> she heard in my door, and I was like, "Cause I heard something." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was. There were a couple points where she, you would have thought she was, or he, perf- performing for like a sold out show. Like she was, she was getting into was it. Was she a good singer? I thought she was. How inebriated were you? Fairly. <laughs> okay. So take off like three notches. So you thought she was like a seven out of 10 singer? Like inebriated? Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. So she's really like a four out of 10 if we were in. I would say five. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, maybe six. Is she still up there? No. <laughs> what time did she leave? Like one forty-five. Yeah. Were you? Sorry. <laughs> 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 I was like, you're damn. 40 years old. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so. Were you nervous about, you know, her coming or was she nervous about coming out and like maybe one of us was passing by? No, actually. She was really excited. I well, I don't think she was like excited to come out and possibly see one of you or both of you, but she just walked out. She was like, Hey, my lift is here, so I I gotta go. And I was like, Okay, let me walk you out. Go ahead and say what you said to her. What what did I say to her last night? About the singing. Oh, <laughs> Alyssa got mad at this. Okay. I When she was singing, when she was belting out some notes, I said, hey, hey, hey you got to keep it down because Alyssa's going to get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. You get so grumpy. <laughs> and so. <laughs> That's a horrible first impression. Okay. She's saying like. What's frumpy mean? Frumpy? Yeah. Isn't like, that. Shoveled, like you're, you're looking like. Yeah. Your clothes kind of. Oh. Uh, that's more like appearance based. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was thinking of a nickname for you. <laughs> but I said, uh, I was like, Alyssa's going to get grumpy. And I jokingly said that to Alyssa this morning. And she was like, that is such a bad first impression. <laughs> and I was like, how? And she's like, I've never met this girl. And now she just thinks I'm grumpy all the time. I was like, no. It's yeah, probably- and you're like, well, first of all, don't say it's so grumpy. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, no, it's just she's belting out notes at five thirty in the morning. Like that would make anyone grumpy. Well, this is just mad because someone asked her out on a date. And anyway, oh, we're gonna get into that in the after school. Special. We'll get into the after school. Oh yeah, uh, subscribe to the Patreon. We're talking about Alyssa's new date that she doesn't want on this podcast because her mom listens to it. So we talk about all our drama on the Patreon. <laughs> that way, her mom can't listen to it. I literally have no drama. I don't know what you're talking oh. about. Yeah, I'd say that too, live on air. Um, also, uh, we're doing another drunk episode soon on the Patreon, and we're doing a live what Q and A video. Yeah, live Q and A. That'll that'll be on the Patreon uh, sometime this month. Um, and we've got. I didn't know how strong that community would be. If you're not on there, you're honestly missing out. And I will tear your ACLs. Okay, I gotta th- I gotta get better threats. You what's do. like a bad like what would threats have all been yeah, super disgusting. similar you what, know what, like, what's what would be something to make you subscribe for five dollars a month you're going to fuck that's hard who okay i could do that <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> your dad <laughs> and i don't want to and he doesn't want to so you're hurting me and him so yeah it's like uh when dads tell like uh their daughter's prom dates like anything you do to her i'm gonna do to you oh i think the dad's just gay <laughs> <laughs> or a pedophile, considering that the standard age for a prom participant is under 18 years old. Or both. Link in the description for uh, Patreon. Oh, um, wait. Will you hold on, man? I will break your teeth and throw them across the room like they're dice. And I'll be like, oh, seven. We're playing craps. What do you want to say? <laughs> go into a cool, like, oh, where'd you get those shirts? Don't really worry cool. about the shirts. You guys, you don't deserve to wear them. <sighs> um, okay, link in the description. We got new merch. Can we move on? We got new merch. It's super cool. Show them the simple. red one. Show them the red one. Here's the, the red one. Um, Is that on camera? Un- yeah, it's on this camera. Uh, university style, you know, dropouts um, university. We went with like the highest quality t-shirts you can. Um, so we're making very little money on it, but at least it feels good on your skin. And are you, is that good? They fit fantastically. Like these are probably one of, I've been wearing these shirts ever since we got them because they fit so well. They fit like a Snickers wrapper on a Jared. Fuck off. Whoa. <laughs> this is our last chance to tell you the live podcast is this Sunday, May 28th. And holy shit. That's so soon. Oh, I, I, I'm very, um, if this doesn't go well, I'm ending it all. 
okay, you said it, not me. So when I do it, premeditate on your end, and they're going to think you did it to me. Anyway, guess who's going to be at the podcast? If you don't want to go for because you hate us, but think about this. My dad's going to be there. Like, of all special guests, this is probably the most special. No, he's got a decent IQ. You know I wasn't talking about that. I had no idea. Um, yeah, so my dad's going to be, uh, it's going to be strange. I don't know, think he's ever listened to any of the podcasts. I hope not. <laughs> um, but my dad is going to be there. You might be like, Zach, I thought you guys didn't have much of a relationship and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is what happened. Not to get too deep. But um, I went through, I'd say, a dark situation in my life where I was troubled, depressed, and hurting. Okay. And you know who else is troubled, depressed, and hurting? Your dad. I would assume, in case he hears this, I'll say I assume. That was not <laughs> definite. I'd be like, I assume. Um, so we hadn't, you know, talked for a while. And, you know, we would talk sparingly like once every like few months. And it would just be like a cheap check-in. And I didn't feel like I had like the closest connection with him, obviously, um, since growing up. But I was like, you know, what's the point of kind of holding a lot of um, resent. Yeah. I don't know about resentment, but just like animosity. Why can't we have a relationship? Sure. The past didn't work out. Like maybe I would have liked it to have been, you know, um, but I called him up. Uh, it was, it was late at night. Um, I remember I was crying and I, I, I was like, Hey, I know you're going through a lot. And honestly I am. And I just kind of want to put everything in the past behind us. And maybe we could try our best to check in with each other like once a week or, you know, once every two weeks and, and kind of be there for each other. And then he told me, he's like, this is like the wake up call I needed. Um, like I, I want nothing more than, you know, to have a relationship with you. And I was like, yeah, let's just, you know, slate clean and whatever it is. So um, I said, I was like, I, I'd love for you to come out here. And we figured out, you know, May might be a good time. And uh, yeah, he, he bought a ticket, sent it to me. And, you know, dad's coming out for a week. I'm, am I a little nervous what I'm going to do with him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But, um, he's come to the live show. So if everyone there could please, you know, show him some love and, and some support, that would mean a lot. I don't know if, He'll let me bring him on stage, but I'll try to give him a little shout out in the crowd. But uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. Um, we are getting close to, I think, selling out the uh, the little venue. It's not it's not too big of a venue. I want it. We want it to be pretty intimate, just so we can have genuine interactions with like a, a lot of you guys, and um, and also we couldn't sell ten thousand tickets if we wanted to. <laughs> uh, no, but it, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, we're gonna have like prizes and games, and um, hopefully some participatory. And we're bringing uh, Heath and Raya on. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, Heath and Raya are gonna be our special guests. We're gonna they're gonna play the guests of honor. Uh, they're a little nervous to get on stage, especially Mariah, but I think it's gonna be fun because yeah. we, we just wanted like a family friendly hangout. We're gonna say some jokes, talk to the crowd, do the whole thing. Alyssa's gonna be there grumpy, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna be grumpy. You Are you stop sure? Stop saying that. Okay, we'll stop saying it right now. <laughs> Are we gonna stop though? I mean, we'll say it behind her back. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Um, so last night we let the liquor talk, but anyway, <laughs> la last night. Sorry, I'm just counting my millions of dollars. This is fake, by the way. <laughs> just like the girl's orgasm last night with Jared. Anyway, did you guys have sex? No. Really? Really. Swear? Swear. How was it? What? Not having sex. It was fine. Did you guys just talk? Yeah. It's even better. Yeah. Cuddle? So, so. What does that even mean? Did you guys sleep in the same bedroom? Yeah. Room? Yeah. Bed? Yeah. Underwear? <laughs> huh? We were clothed. Barely. Okay, so last night, uh, you go to hang out with this girl and I wasn't invited. Shut the hell up. I literally, I texted you, I called you, or you called me asking when I was leaving, and then I even went back in your room for a third chance to invite you, and you refused. Do you know how hard it is, honestly? For what? For everyone to want you there and, and want to talk to you and feel like you know, you're part of every situation to get invited to everything. Do you know how hard that is? Oh, I'm so sorry. That must be such a burden. Oh, I don't get to relate to like, depressing music feeling a lot music that feels alone and there's so much in that genre i'm it's, yeah it's overwhelming i hate feeling valued all the time i never got to go through an authentic emo stage like i listen to it it's like the world hates me i'm all alone meanwhile and then, you're prom king you're mean, like meanwhile life's really working out <laughs> meanwhile i've never had a down day like people don't understand how hard it is to be on top to be loved by everyone the pressure 
You walk in a room, everyone turns around, goes back to their conversation. Yeah. I walk in a room, Zach's here. Woo. My it's hands the, hurt from high fives. It's Zach's that, here. It's that funny guy. And yeah, I can't wait to have a conversation with him. Like, I can't be alone with my own thoughts ever. And then, like, just I, know that you have it good. I didn't know you were going through that. I am. I'm really sorry. Thank you. It's walk a mile in my shoes. Dude, I'm always here if you need to talk to me. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Alyssa. Yeah. Are you always here? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. She's so grumpy. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. <laughs> kidding, dude. Okay, so. Well, she's biting her lips. She's trying to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of going out last night, right? So I go, we, uh, I go to this bar in Silver Lake and meeting up with a bunch of friends. It's like Ella, Taylor, uh, Danielle, Jess. They're all there. And so we walk in. We find Who else was there? The whole group, uh, you know, and yeah, it's really like you're forgetting a name. And, oh, maybe the one that slept over last night. What was her name? And so first and last, here's a picture. So we they have a picture of a handsome. <laughs> so like we we meet them and then they're talking with some people and they're like, oh, come over here. Like not it's not like a table. Like it's not like one of those bars, but it's like there's outdoor seating. They're like we have like a little booth area. Right. And so we go follow them over there and turn the corner and just sitting there in our little group is Cole Sprouse, <laughs> the Colster. And I was like half of half of the duo. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing in LA? <laughs> well, it's just like, what are you doing here? You know, shouldn't you be in a train somewhere helping it conduct, helping it go and move? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? What? I'm confused. Why? What's the train analogy? I, I don't understand how you're confused. I don't understand how you don't understand that. I'm well, let's confused. talk it through. Okay. Okay. What's going on in your so head? So I said, Cole Sprouse is okay. there, right? Yeah. Took me by surprise. Uh -huh. Wasn't expecting that. And I was wondering why he wasn't in a train. Okay. Helping it move forward because of his energy. And that's where I'm lost. Gotcha. Okay. What does the train have to do with anything? Well, his name's Cole. <laughs> oh my God. That's one He's of the my dumbest. God too. That's one of the dumbest jokes. You've I ever don't made. like that you claim God for yourself. Keep going. Anyway, he was, he was just there and you know, we were talking to everybody, super cool guy. Uh, it was just like one of those. So you talk to the Colster. I rarely get like starstruck. I feel like the only time I've really been starstruck was when I met like Vernon Davis who used to play for the 49ers, right? Because I grew up watching him. Do you it, mind taking the shirt from Handsome? Oh, Handsome. <laughs> you got scared. The hell? And so, yeah, it was just, but it was just like such a shock because I w wasn't expecting that. I just thought that was a, a that well, was what'd a you cool, guys talk about? Funny moment. Was he dating anyone new? Was he with a woman? No. Or a man? I don't think so. You know, you think he was alone? I think so. I mean, there were like other, there were girls and guys sitting in the booth, but like he wasn't interacting with anyone in particular. Not a bad looking guy. Wouldn't be bad to have him in uh, your stocking for Christmas, would it? I don't get it. There's a reason to be a naughty girl. It's another cold joke. It's another cold joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get him but super cool guy. I was like, oh, wow. This is like, it's fun, like meeting kind of like the the actors or like people that you grew up watching on like TV as a kid. There was actually a pedophile who um, touched him and got away with it because he was like, no, no, I was with Cole, a coal miner. Dude, these, Melissa. these coal puns have to stop. Handsome. What are you doing? He's just eating his toy. Yeah. Um, There's the thing about our dog is uh, most dogs, you give him a toy, play around with it, and then ours wants to consume it all and have it live inside his body. Similar to a woman with a child. Did you see that uh, girl, the 19-year-old girl? What? So apparently um, it was all over the news, and by that, I mean, I saw one TikTok about it. She, <laughs> I guess she birthed a child. I don't know the full story, and then was in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. And she didn't want to have it or something, so she put it, in the trash can and then put another liner on top of it. So no one would see it. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. And it died. And now it she's, oh. I think she's getting charged with first degree murder. Well, yeah, as she should, she just, she literally threw her baby away in the trash can and then put a liner on top of it. Yes. Where, what, where was this hospital <laughs> in the hospital? Yeah. Does like, does she know that she could put up the baby for adoption? Like she doesn't have to, literally throw it away in the trash I assume so. i mean i told her like i not saying i understand but like i understand being young and scared 
and maybe not thinking with the clearest head, but just like, how is that your first thought? Or how is that like the thought that you actually run with? You also, know what I mean? Where do they think the baby went? She gave birth in a hospital. Yeah. Where and then it just, it, it's not in like the nursery section and it's not with the mother. How did someone find it? I think the janitor went in and when then they were like cleaning out the trash and cans. Then, yeah. Saw the baby. They would talk about like mortifying for the janitor as well. Yeah. Like just pulling a dead baby out of a trash can. That's sad. Should have been you. Okay. Alyssa, what's going on? Whoa, she just looked at her own boobs. What was that about? <laughs> Alyssa, that's disgusting. It is work hours. Nice. Yeah. You know what Alyssa told me? I thought it was wild. What? She said she had a bisexual phase in college, and sometimes she would just take her top off and look at herself to get going. Ooh. That's remember such that? A lie. Such Very, a lie? That's, that's pretty narcissistic of you. It is pretty narcissistic. It's not that's kind of gross. Not the way your mother raised you. No. Oh, me? Signed with CAA this week, and I want to talk about it. Did you really? I didn't tell you. No, you don't tell me anything. And you know this. I ask you, it's like, how'd your meeting go? Good. Who was it with? People. You know, like those are the kind of answers that you give me. It's true. Watch your mouth, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> She's so self-conscious. What does that mean? <laughs> um, yeah. So see, so people not in the whatever CAA is an agency uh, for acting, writing, um, entertainment in general. Well, it was just kind of funny because when I started this journey on entertainment, sit back and let me tell you something a little bit. All right, um, sit back, getting comfortable. You know, I started this thing in Atlanta. I was playing college tennis um, at LaGrange College. And at the time, my girlfriend and I, she was very obsessed with uh, the Vampire Diaries. And one of our things that we did together was we would get on a call, um, throw some uh, earbuds in our ear, and then we'd, we'd play an episode of Vampire Diaries at the same time. That's pretty cute. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, and I, I was like, oh, I, I want to get into acting. I heard people were doing background stuff. So I was like, oh, that seems like an easy way to get on set to see what this whole acting thing is about. Look online. What do they need extras for? The Man. Vampire Diaries. Oh, okay. full circle. Okay. Full circle. So, you know, I'm I'm texting the girlfriend. Hey, I've signed up for the Vampire Diaries. You should sign up too. She's like, I can't. I got it school. And then they picked me, <gasps> so which at the time I thought was a big deal. Turns out. Don't pick anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, I, honestly, you could just walk on set. And so I get on you. set and I lock eyes with old Damon Salvatore, old Ian Summerholder. He was directing the episode. Ooh. A lot smaller than I thought he was going to be. I that's, assume five nine. I feel like that's most actors. But um, he was there and it was cool. And I was like, oh, I love being on set. But I feel like I'm like at the bottom of the totem pole now. Let's see if we can work our way up. Started taking acting classes trying my best to find an agent um, that would just give me any audition. So I kind of got like a lower level agent uh, there just by um, sending in a little audition that was absolutely atrociously terrible. <laughs> but at the time I remember kind of thinking like there's certain agencies in um, Atlanta, you know, that are bigger than others. But, um, and I was like, I could never even come close to being with, you know, one of the big agencies in Atlanta. Yeah. And, now to be with maybe the biggest agency in the world, it was like kind of a, a strange. That's incredible. Depends who you ask. If you ask me, I like it. <laughs> if you ask me, it's good. No, but I thought, yeah, I thought it was cool. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and I think some of them are coming to the live show, so we have to make sure it's good or they'll drop <laughs> me. <laughs> we have to make sure it's, <laughs> fuck, if there wasn't already enough okay, listen pressure. Let's who's also coming to the live uh, podcast. So CAA is coming, uh -huh. I think Untitled, which is my management, which uh -huh. is like a big management. Some Spotify execs, I think, are coming. Dude, I think some <laughs> I'm gonna jelly shit my pants. <laughs> Ew, Jared. I think I think some jelly telling. smack execs are going to be there, um, and then my dad, <laughs> and that's the one I'm the most nervous about. <laughs> so it's going to be an interesting time. So for the people, honestly, this is also for me, just because I still don't fully understand how um, the whole agency management, all that stuff works. So you're, you're managed by Untitled. Correct. What do they manage for Me. you? Oh, um, it's similar to an agency, but so they'll give me auditions, but they're more like hands-on day-to-day where an agency, you don't have as much of a uh, you know, call every day relationship. It's more like, hey, here's a list of items I'd like to get done. Hey, I'd like to get in contact with, say it's Brad Pitt for like this movie I, I, I wrote. Can we talk to his agent to to set that up? Or um, we'd like to have you know this person on the podcast. 
like what division do we need to talk to? Or, you know, I want to start doing a live tour, help set that up. They just kind of encompass a lot of, you know, different things. Yeah. Cause I was always confused. It was, like, I feel like uh, whenever somebody would be like, oh yeah, I'm signed to this agency, but this management, yada, yada, yada. I was like, that feels like uh, different like jurisdictions for, you know, law enforcement, you know, how they kind of like overlap each other. Um, and I feel like some, like a lot of our audience members want to get into Thanks, enter- entertainment. Um, and so I feel like that's also helpful for them to understand the distinction if they didn't already. Okay. So when I got to LA, I, I would do like background work for money and also editing. Um, don't get much money at all. And, People don't treat you very well. But anyway, so I was on set for the show Grownish. Okay. I think that's yeah. what it was. I, that's the one that they kept on wanting me back for because it's like college age people. Uh huh. Um, so if you ever watch Grownish, you'll see me in the background of some season. And uh, and one day I was there, you know, I, I just kind of keep to myself on those things. It's kind of just like get through the day. It's not really fun. It kind of sucks being, being an extra um, just because like, you know, people look at you as cattle. A lot of yeah, the time. you're literally treated like secondhand citizens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're treated like a five year old. Everybody get a single file line. Put your finger over your your, <laughs> your mouth. So one day I was sitting there, and the this PA like looks at me, and he just goes, "Nope, not you. Not here today." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "No, come with me." And um, I was like, "Okay." And then he takes my voucher, and he's like, "I always have problems with you on set." I'm like, what, what? are you? Ta-? I was like, what are you talking about? I just sit in the corner. He goes, no, I know you were here yesterday. I know what you did. I, I remember. I know what you did. I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, you dragged one of the beds out of the set and into the hall and then slept on it. I was like, <laughs> oh, wait, I was what? like, I was what? like, first of all, I wasn't here yesterday, which I wasn't. Yeah. I was like, he goes, yeah, okay. He's like, you want to keep lying? Because I'll rip up your voucher right now, which is how I got money. And and this I'll, is a PA. Yeah, just like yeah. So he's also on the yeah. bottom of the totem pole. He, he's like, you really want to try me right now? And I said, one hundred percent. And then he ripped it up, or he like ripped the thing off and then gave it back to me. He goes, go get out. And I was like, all right, man. I mean, this is this is not going to work out well for you, but okay. <laughs> and I just walk out and I just go find the first person. I was like, hey, who do I talk to about getting wrongfully kicked out? Um, by PA. <laughs> and um, they brought me up to this person, this person, they go and talk to him. And then he eventually like had to apologize, which I still don't think he believed it wasn't me, but I was like, why would I drag a bed? <laughs> like, I just want to leave here anyway. It's the only re- way I'm getting money right now. Why would I jeopardize that by dragging a bed off a set that like ruins all set decoration and like could cost thousands of dollars of resetting everything. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was dude. That dude was on a power trip, but also the thing is I well, not like you in particular, but that is absolutely something I would I could picture an extra doing. Yeah, is because like extras are wild, dude. They just because it's either there there are like three types of people, right? <laughs> there are the people that um, just you know acting is their passion. That's what they want to do, but they try way too hard. They're too eccentric, you know, and a little over the top. That annoys people. Then there are the people that drag sets off of or drag beds off of active sets and then fall asleep in the hallway. Um, and then they're just like the normal people that are just there cause they need a paycheck. It is, it is kind of wild to, well, going back to like to the live show and, um, you know, being able to make money from a podcast cause we, Alyssa, I don't know if you know this, we used to go on ridiculousness like the set of ridiculousness and yeah. we sit there for just hours. We got, we got paid to be seat fillers. Oh really? So like a lot of like talk shows, game shows and stuff like that, like the people you see in the audience besides what, like the price is right. That yeah. like the people are there to actively like I, try to get on the show. A lot of them are being paid to be there. I did it for like world of dance. I did it for uh, family feud. We did it for the Bill Maher show. The Bill Maher show. That, like, not the show itself, but that sucked. Dude, I feel like we were there forever. So boring. <laughs> oh, my. And then we went to, you know, the ridiculousness one. That was our bread and butter. That was. Yeah, we, we, worked, we worked that hard. That's how we make our grocery money. So we'd go there for, like, the day, and then we'd get out. It'd be, like, raining outside. We're all waiting in this long line, and they'd give us, like, 40 bucks. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then we'd skedaddle. 
Question, have you been stewing about a health concern? And instead of going to a doctor, you go in your group chat and be like, hey guys, I have all these symptoms. I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, and then your friends are like, it could be this, it could be this. And then you're worrying because it's probably worse. Well, your friends are making it worse than it actually is. When in reality, you can talk to a doctor in, with, in the ease of your home with something, a tool called ZocDoc. Sorry, I'm getting so frustrated. Just if you're not using ZocDoc in this day and age, you're doing life wrong. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. I recently had a um, health issue that I was a little nervous to get an opinion on, uh, but it made it, it it made it a lot easier when when I could go and see peer reviewed you know doctors and be like, oh, this guy actually really knows what he's talking about. I can feel safe when I'm talking about him about this issue and they can do it in the comfort of my home. I don't have to go out, go somewhere, make it this big thing, log into my computer, be in bed and uh, get my quote unquote diagnosis. I'm currently experiencing some knee pain when I work out, I go to do a squat and there's a searing pain in my knee. Good. And I've been needing to go to the doctor for a little while now. And I think one of the things that's holding me back is I don't know who to go to, like who takes my insurance, who's good. And ZocDoc makes it super easy to find those patient-reviewed doctors that do take my insurance. So it takes that burden off of me. I think a lot of um, young people, especially um, when they have health issues, they'll also just let it go by the wayside when if there is something underlying and you can catch it earlier than later, you know, could eventually actually save your life. So this is something I've recently started taking seriously and I found out um, I have a little bit of a condition that I'm I'm working on and, and trying to get help for. And uh, I want to thank ZocDoc for helping me with that. And to help you guys, um, you can go to ZocDoc dot com slash dropouts and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available actually within 24 hours, which is perfect, especially in this day and age of medicine where it's hard to talk to a doctor in a year. Yeah. And now you can do it Seriously. a lot of times in 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com uh, slash dropouts, ZocDoc.com slash dropouts. Use it today. Uh, it's honestly could possibly change your life. Thank you, ZocDoc. Do you have a business? Are you a person where people need to know information about you? Do you have a blog like Jared's ex? Okay. Where she talks exclusively about the relationship and how it ended. But the easiest way I think you can create a website is squarespace.com. Jared, tell me a little bit more about Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, content you create, and even your time. Say say you're a local uh, coffee shop that, that has their own beans that they sell on the internet. Oh no, how am I going to get them to these customers? How am I going to fulfill these orders? You ever heard of the e-commerce feature, huh? I have. It's a wonderful feature. Well, guess what? Guess who has it in the most simple, easy way to use? I'm going to guess Squarespace. Of course you would guess that because that's what the ad is. But just know it is Squarespace. All right, man. Um, similar things that we sell. This wonderful, cute merch. Guess where you can sell it on? A website like Squarespace.com. Makes it cool and easy. And Jared, honestly, if you don't have a website, I'd br I'm going to break your nose. I do have a website. I have a website for my music. And who do you use for it? Squarespace. Hell yeah, brother. It's beautiful. It's simple. And I didn't need to know any coding to get it done. I was simply able to load up a template, insert the photos that I wanted to use, link all my music. And it was as simple as that. Create a website today and don't be lost in the past. You need one. All you got to do is go to squarespace.com slash dropouts for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code dropouts to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, that is squarespace.com slash dropouts for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code dropouts for 10% off your first website or domain. Do it now or I'll break your nose. Thank you, Squarespace. And dad. I mean, like, if you think about it, it's not a terrible way to earn money if that's, like, yeah. your last resort. Because, really, you're just sitting there. We got to see some pretty cool people. Actually, I think we were there when, like, Madison Beer was filming an episode well, of she, oh, I Ridiculous wasn't there I think you went with someone else. Oh, I might have gone with, like, Nelson or something, you know. But, um, you know, like, we, we got to see some cool people. Yeah, but I, like, Madison Beer was there. And it's like, now we know her enough for her not to text me back, which is great. <laughs> I really want to get her in one of my movies. Um, every time I see her, I'm like, 
hey, I still got that script. Like, I want to talk to you about it. She's like, oh, I am the worst texter in the world. Just go ahead and text me again. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just going into an open void, but here we go. <laughs> and then the only reason I know it's a real number is I'll I'll go to uh, TikTok and it'd be like, from your contacts, like, do you want to follow this person? Oh, and I'm yeah. like, well, she's getting it. So it's definitely there. Yeah. But going r- ridiculousness as well, like growing up in Ohio, I also, I wanted to be like a skateboarder so bad. And Rob Deerdeck is also from Ohio and like Robin big and fantasy factory. Those are like my favorite shows. And so on top of like fresh to LA, you're earning money to like watch one of your heroes, like just do his thing. I don't know. It was fun, but at the same time, kind of humiliating when you're just like standing in a line in the rain. Yeah. The watching the show part isn't terrible. It's like, you have got to go there hours beforehand to get in this long line with a bunch of other people that are just trying to make 40 bucks. And if yeah. you don't get there soon enough, you can get cut off. And a lot of people like take the bus there like an hour. And then, yeah. and then if you don't make that money, it's like, all right, I just spent money that I don't have. And I want, am I going to eat tonight? Yeah. It was- Me- meanwhile, you're standing in this line, like wondering how you're going to eat tonight if you don't get this money. And then like Stilo Brim pulls up in a Ferrari. It's just a murdered out Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. And like Rob pulls up in like a Bentley and it's just like, dude, (laughs) I saw this funny thing the other day uh, on, it was about MTV and it's like at 9 PM tonight, look for ridiculousness for the next three days. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. Three days. I thought it was pretty funny. (laughs) I mean, that's the only thing they play. Like, have they made any original Like, I don't know how much he makes per episode. Can you look up how much Rob Deerdeck makes per episode of Ridiculousness? Oh, God, it's going to be out of this world. Like, just that show, he's probably made gener- generational wealth with. And then, on top of that, he's an extremely smart businessman. My brother had him on his podcast. I know. I want to get him on here. Do you know how cool that would be? He reportedly makes $140,000 per episode. Holy hell. And has hell. appeared in more than 530 episodes. <laughs> Do the math on that yeah, for me. Can you do the math? Okay, so think about that. we we go to Why did I go to college to be Rob Deerdeck? <laughs> we go to watch his show for let's say it was like three hours or something, three, four hours, right? We get 40, 50 bucks. And in that time, he made half a million dollars. <laughs> a little over 74 million. <clears throat> 70, 74 million. It's not 7.4. It's 74 million. Yeah. 74 million, 230,000, dollars and 70 cents. 70 cents. It's a lot of cents. Not bad. Above average in the sense. But that's just what the internet says. Yeah. Internet's a liar. Yeah. yeah. Internet's never right. Mm-hmm. They've never had anything factual. Um, there. Who else did I? Yeah. I met a lot of people doing like the background stuff. Like uh, I used to see, cause I used to do the grownish so much. I used to see the new mermaid all the time. What's her name? Hallie, Hallie Bailey, Hallie Bailey. Oh, Barry. she was on that show. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And her, uh, singing partner. What's her name? Yeah. There's like two of them. They got signed by Beyonce. I think anyway, they were always there. Um, I got to talk to them a little bit. They were sweet. They were just like kids, like hanging out just a ton of money, obviously, but it's kind of wild. I already talked about met Selena Gomez. That's how I met Selena Gomez met, uh, Zach Efron. You met Zach Efron. Oh, th- that was on the same set, right? No, that was a set. Of, well, that was a set of uh, Neighbors Two. Wait, was Selena Gomez part of that? Where'd you meet her? Yeah, that was Neighbors Two. Okay, yeah. There's actually a. I, can we include a scene from that? Can you look up Neighbors Two deleted scene? Okay, so what, a funny story. So there's a bunch of extras on that, and we we're on there for a, like a, they booked us for might've been a month, just a really long time just to be an extra. Uh, yeah. Just Holy like reoccurring. Shit. Cause we're like, we were in the school. So they want to reoccurring people. But, um, one of the guys that I was friends with on the set, like we just started, you know, our career in entertainment, if you want to call it that, what we were doing, but, um, his name was Austin theory and he was absolutely jacked and like eating a ton of protein the whole time. And like, we we're getting along pretty well. And now he's like one of the biggest wrestlers no way. Like WWE wrestlers out there. Like he just fought John Cena or wrestled John Cena. Holy shit. Yeah. If you look up Austin Theory, like we know each other in like the most random from, weird way. I have a picture of us from back in the day. Oh, that's so cool. Holy shit. You weren't kidding when you said jacked. He was that big at like 18 or whatever. I knew him. That's See, that's what I was Oh, saying. great. Alyssa broke the TV. Alyssa, that's not our TV to break. 
What do we pay her for, dude? That's you know, I'm starting to question that. What did you just say? <laughs> Can we just do all the stuff that she does? Should we? Hey, you got it working. Job's back on the table. There we go. Cameron Dallas was in this movie too. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay. Um, what's her name? Beanie. Beanie Feldstein is Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill's sister. And I when Snapchat first came out with filters, I well, I taught her how to use Snapchat, which I thought was I forgot it that I even have until I saw her picture in that. Okay, scroll down. Chloe Grace Moretz was in Neighbors Two. Who wasn't in this movie? Yeah, she was in Neighbors Two, and I kind of made a fool of myself because I I didn't know who Cl- Chloe Grace Moretz was before this. Um, really? Yeah, and she there was like a bunch of fans on the other side of the street when we were filming an outside scene once, and she went over there and said hi to him like woo. And I went over and I went up to her just because I, I get bored. I was like, should I go over there and like I'm pretend I'm in the movie and see if they'll go crazy for me too? She goes, yeah, go do it. And I went over there and not a single person cared. They're like, is Selena here? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let me go talk to her. I didn't talk to her, obviously, because she didn't want me to. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Uh, yeah. You'll see me somewhere. So this is your big break. Okay. I'm looking. Wait out. for me. I'm going to be behind that guy, I think. There I am. Oh, my God. There you were. <laughs> I'm a star. You're the one in the striped shirt. Yeah, I know we're not a big deal. Wow. Uh, the yeah, really, right there. really awkwardly skinny tall kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at you. Wait, hold on. You, feel, you sound like it? a proud mother. I keep playing. <laughs> Dude, I feel like one. Did she hand you a drink? <gasps> Dude, you were... <laughs> that's me and Selena. <laughs> oh, that's wow. The, that's the scene where um, she, she, danced, she danced next to me, but I don't think it was on camera. Damn. Look at you go. Man, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's pretty. Look at us. Yeah, it's me and Selena Gomez. Man. Screenshot that. How old were you in this? Uh, I was probably like 19. I just checked out her butt. They told me to do that. <laughs> look, at, look at you like pretending to have fun at this party. Wow. Not a big deal. Zach's a superstar. Not a big deal. Wait, I'm a superstar. Okay, so what was it like filming this scene like what dude what do you mean i just stood there no no no. i mean like (laughs) what was your process of getting into character no i mean like the the behind the scenes of it because uh typically for like party scenes or big like group scenes like that everybody is actually dead silent right because yeah yeah. so pantomiming yeah so you were just sitting there just like in complete silence yeah was it like that's got to feel stupid right i think at the time we were just pretty excited about a smoke bump a smoke bump so when you're an extra on things there's like a bump for a lot of stuff uh-huh. so since there's fog in the room we got like an extra like 15 dollars oh. or 10 or 15 dollars for like a smoke bump that we're all really excited about so it's like oh we got a smoke bump and then um if they go if you go past lunch you get a bump oh that's big so it's like you want you still want to have lunch but you want them to you I think it's like a, a little late. What is it? Eight, every eight or every six hours you have to eat. If you go past that, then you get another bump. They gave me, when I did the walking dead, they gave me a bump for falling down. Nice. Cause uh, Glenn like jumps on your back. Doesn't yeah. he? he? When he put the knife in my head. So you're a stunt double as well. A lot of things, man. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm a Renaissance man. I get it. And then the, the best thing, the worst and the best thing is like being an extra. So you're, I mean, being uh, overtime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of, because then it turns into You'll be on set for like 21 hours and you'll want to die. Yeah, but because it, it turns into like time and a half. Yeah. And then and eventually then two you'll times. two times. And then there's like what, golden? Is it golden hour? Golden? Something like that. Um, but then that's like triple overtime. That's the money right there. That's what you but get that granted, coin. Yeah, you want to die because you've literally been on set for almost a full day. Yeah. So anyway, I mean, it's not a big deal. I just swing it goes and I go way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checking out her butt, you know. I ha- they told me to. When we get her on this podcast eventually, we got to pull this scene back up. Yeah. I think that would be hilarious to show her. Or if we're dating. You never know with Selena and I. You never know. We have history. We're already in movies. We're, yeah, we're work colleagues. Well, I don't know. We're work colleagues right now, so I don't know if I want to. I'm sure. What what agents agency is she signed to? Can you see who? Because uh, if if she's signed to, honestly, since you're signed to CAA, which is one of the top agencies in the world, yeah, it's very easy for like your CAA agent to reach out to other agencies. Yeah, so or technically you are but work at that, colleagues but, now. But at the end of the day, it's like 
I feel like we got to get the podcast bigger before it would make sense for her to come on. Oh, well, yeah. Handsome is like slumped. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little hungover. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we figured it out. I, dude, I'm. What time do you guys actually go to bed? Like 730 in the morning. What is up with that? Uh, you know, you've got the whole day to be awake. You yeah. guys could, you guys could just wake up, start partying at like noon, and then be tired enough at even midnight and go to bed. Does that sound nice? Yeah, no, that sounds great. I like that a lot more. But oh wait, when she left, what was like the the parting words? I don't know. We we hugged. Maybe you don't. Okay. Well, no, like we, okay, physical we, embrace. Not yeah, bad. we hugged. She said, uh, like. Thank you for having me over. I, how, yeah, how did she come to the house? What was did she invite herself over? Were you like you got to see my pad? The bar closed that we were at, and it was like I don't know, maybe like two, three o'clock in the morning, somewhere around there. And she was uh, everybody else was going home. She's like, "Do you want to keep the party going?" I was like, "Yeah." Uh, and she was like, "Do you have drinks at your place?" I said, "Oh." I said, "Yeah." And so um, we made a stop at her place, and she changed, and then she came here. Did you watch her change. I didn't watch her change. Know, she you're was, invited she to went, the show. She went to the bathroom. But um, but yeah, no, when she left, she's just like, she. we hugged. She was like, thanks for having me over. I said, let me know when you get home safe. And yeah, that was about it. Maybe that's yeah. why Alyssa's so grumpy. Why? Because she, she's jealous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. First off, Jared's a catch. And any girl that's blind would be so happy to have him. I'm not grumpy at all. <laughs> that's all she heard? <laughs> The selective hearing is strong with this one. Did you wait? Hold on. Uh, this is has nothing to do with what we were just speaking about. It just talking to you made me think of this. Did you see they're shutting down that uh, the Star Wars hotel that was like ridiculously expensive? What? Yeah, after a year, forever. Uh huh. Why? It was just too expensive. What's the Star Wars hotel? What? Well, so I it was like. It was this Star Wars themed hotel. There'll be more Star Wars hotels. That was like fully immersive, right? So mm-hmm. like it was the whole thing. You weren't just paying for a hotel. You were paying for like an a experience. Lifestyle. Yeah, basically. But it was like. Where is it? Uh, I think it was in Florida, right? Or something. I don't know. But it was like upwards of like 10K a month or a month, a night. Um, oh, you were never going in your lifetime anyway. Well, I don't. I think that's a little. It was something ridiculous. Well, look it up. See if there's like a going out of sale sale. It was like 4000 to 6000 per cabin. Okay, but that's still. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay, charging guests up to 10K a night closes after a year. Um, but yeah, they're closing it, which I was bummed. I, I, like, I kind of wanted to go to that as well. But um, and then speaking of charging more or like charging ridiculous prices have you heard uh about the tattoo artist that charge one of her clients like twenty six hundred dollars just to get a sketch of an idea for a tattoo i mean i get it do you though but if she's that sought after i don't know if she really a sketch not even a tattoo yeah i don't know if she really is that sought did she after. pay for it i think she did uh, so, okay. So it started with, well, I mean, then she's worth it. You know what I mean? Uh, so it started with a $180 non-refundable consultation fee, right? Is that bad? It's expensive, but it's not unheard of. Okay. Right? So like bad. sometimes they charge like a hundred bucks, 50 bucks, 200, you know, so it's, that's not bad. The, so, but then she offered a few options. The first option was to pay $1,500 for a concept sketch, which she could request one change. Uh, she could only request one change. A second option of $3,500, you can have a few changes. And a third option for $6,000 for multiple sketches, reviews, changes, all plus tax. So this woman- well, the government needs their money too, guys. Playgrounds. Yeah, play, and light posts. Yeah, yeah. So the woman uh, ended up. Or man? No, it's a it's a woman <laughs> in this. Uh, she's she settled on the first option, uh, paying uh, twenty six ninety five, remaining confident that the artist would design a piece for her, right? And so then when uh, she got the design back, she asked for like. Uh, some changes and then the the artist was like hey you got to pay the difference between option one and two if you're asking for these changes so then 
she forked over another twenty two sixty. Good so for the almost, artist. That's on her. That's on the person getting the at tattoo. Least, at least, yeah, five thousand dollars for just a sketch. Yeah, and so then um, uh, she like she had sent over two reference photos. She wanted like a fox tattoo with some flowers and stuff, and she sent over two reference photos, both of which <laughs> had, and she was like. She thought she had been cleared that she wanted a full body of the fox, right? But when she got the sketch back, it wasn't full body. She wanted to change, and the artist wouldn't do it unless she paid more. And, and then you're already pot committed. Yeah, exactly. And so <laughs> she asked for a refund, and they refused. And they were like, no, I'm not refunding you anything. I've given you options of moving forward. I've been kind, patient, and, and have fulfilled my duties to you this far. If you don't want to move forward, that's your choice, but I'm not giving you my time, expertise, and creativity for nothing, which I understand. I mean, yeah. That's not $5,000 worth. That's what I'm saying. I, it's, these are, it's, the, it's, it's the girl's fault. Is it a girl? Whoever's fault that bought the tattoo. That's the thing. You should have. Well, yeah, if you're willing to pay $2,500 for a sketch, that's, <laughs> that's just crazy. insane. We don't even pay Jared that much for this podcast. Like, if that, that was just for the sketches, how much was the actual tattoo going to cost? I, I, I don't know. It was just mind-blowing. Um, but it's been kind of blowing up on TikTok because uh, of just how ridiculous the situation is. <laughs> can, um, can you imagine paying $5,000 and not getting anything in return? Never. I can. When I left it outside your bedroom door with a note that said, <laughs> let's see what that hole do. <laughs> and guess what you did? Took the money and ran. <laughs> and he did not and you see said, what that hole cause, do. No, because you said you could report me for sexual harassment and it'd be a lot more than $5,000 to get out of this one, bubs. <laughs> she had a mustache she, on at the time. When she turned into like a <laughs> 1930s gangster. I don't know. She does that at night. Yeah. Can't feed her after midnight. She turns into a, she's like a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gremlins. Food. Speaking of gremlins. Why'd you look at me like that? Speaking of what? Gremlin. What? What, what were you going to say? I wasn't going to... Testy. I'm not even going to go into it. No, what were you going to say? I had no idea what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely didn't. And that's on you. But so, speaking of... You, huh? What? What were you going to say? It was completely different. Probably something sexy. Go ahead. It was stupid. Speaking you know of you tattoos. can wear that at a local high school? <laughs> Why? Um, you're showing shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely showing uh, your shoulders. Yeah, I know. Or, <laughs> I know. It's crazy. <laughs> well, Jared. <laughs> I was saying that it's in... Spaghetti straps. In reference to Because you're Italian? Dress oh, codes. These are called because you're guys. Italian. <laughs> we get it. Okay. Um, speaking of tattoos, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. By who? Wes. Wes. Yeah. What time? One. Okay. We, we, we <laughs> yeah, finalized we, we, it. We finally. Uh, he, are you going? Oh yeah. yeah I. I can. This, this is the first I told you. I have my. Uh, sorry. What? Right. No. Why would I cut you off? What do you have? It's disgusting. Um, to think you had a story, and I thought, oh, I'll interject with my own thought. Can you believe someone like me would do that? It's okay. And another you. thing. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm finally, I, I'm getting a new tattoo. Oh, tomorrow. what is it of? It is, it's of the Spider-Man upside down kiss from the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man. That's cool, man. I like it. No, it's just, I'm thinking of your grandchildren, like lowering you into the grave as you've got a Spider-Man tattoo. What's wrong with that? His life had no meaning as I, I assume one of them will say it or something like that. Just because of the- I think it has meaning. Well, you're dead. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite movies. But it's not your favorite. <laughs> fuck, what, fuck man? Off, what, dude? What? That's so. You always do that. <laughs> what does it mean? That you're making fun of my breathing? No, I'm not. Yes, you are, and you know you are. I'm mimicking a companion. A lot of a lot of people in relationships do that. Would they? They have the same mannerisms because they're around each other so much. No, you do you do it maliciously. I saw you want to do it there. You literally <laughs> Okay, sorry I feel bad you're struggling struggling for oxygen and you feel like you're isolated among other human beings. I don't I only feel isolated when you go, <laughs> you I, don't go I don't blow out. I go <laughs> And so do you. <laughs> do you want to know what I thought today? No. Okay, so Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, what you thought? Yeah, I had a thought today. Oh, okay. first one in a week. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, do you think that murderers know other murderers? 
<laughs> like, do you think serial killers can spot another serial killer? You know, like you pass up, you, you say you're driving and you're a serial killer. You pick up a hitch, hitchhiker and that's a serial killer. You know, like, but Ooh. the you're driving as a serial killer thinking to kill somebody and the hitchhiker's trying to get in the car to also kill somebody. So like, has that what? been a movie before? So what I, do, feel what like does that be, I feel like that would be a really cool kind of thriller. Do you think they have like, they pick up on other murder serial killers, you know? Like, well, it'd be pretty nice because say they both wanted to murder someone and then they'd be like, wait, what if you go murder my person? I go murder your person. Then there's like no motive or trace back. Oh. Both the murders are done. Both that wives are dead. System. Yeah. But like, how does that come up? Like you pick How up does it come up in conversation? But like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, first, well, you gotta they be a try serial to murder killer. each other and then they're like, oh, you're so a serial killer. I'm a serial killer. What do you do for work? Oh, I, um, just try I travel around. I'm, I'm not in too many places places at once. Oh me, do do a lot of work with my hands. Oh, good, good, good. Um, this is gonna sound weird. I like I like knives. Okay, I like I like rope. You know. Oh, you like rope? I yeah. love rope. What do you do with your rope? Tie a lot of knots. Tie a lot of knots. Yeah. You're a naughty boy. No. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not being gay. <laughs> I'm just being funny. Well, what do you do with your knives? Are you a chef? I cut things. What do you cut? Are you a woodworker? I uh, I uh, a butcher of of sorts. Oh, a butcher. Yeah. How long you been doing that? Years. Years. Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite cut of meat? <laughs> Sally H six. What? Sorry. Uh, wh- what? What was, what was that? I didn't hear you. Do you say was that prime rib? What'd you say? Sally H six. Sally, oh, she like she ventured a little too far off the playground. Come here, little girl. You, you want a pixie stick? Dude, I don't <laughs> like. I, this is literally bringing <laughs> tears to my eyes because of how scared. You <laughs> want a pixie stick? Stop. Okay, because you're too believable as a serial killer. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, you've got dead eyes. And she does too. Stop. I'm crying. You're making me cry. You want to know where I buried? No, her? I don't. I want you to stop. No. Let's just say it's not all in one place. And scene. <laughs> Thank you. And scene. I feel seen. Good. How often do you think you pass by a serial killer? Once every single day. You think you pass by one every day? Maybe not serial. A murderer? But just murderer. Here in LA, probably. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird to think about? No, 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 no. Oh. I, think, I think we should exterminate the human race, so we're good. Oh, so you're you're kind of applauding them for? I would never clap for them. Kind of go woo woo. No, dude. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, so the thing with <laughs> serial killers, the thing with serial killers, let's see where this goes. Is well, they're like they're psychopathic, you know. Okay. Do they have like enough uh, emotional intel- intelligence to like pick up on other people's intentions or do you motives? Think, or do you stuff? think serial killers are nature versus nurture? Do you think they're born that way? With those tendencies, or do you think they're? I think it depends. Cause then like, it, but then it's like the question: Can they help it? I think it depends on like it's something that you'd ha- either have to get like a brain scan while they're alive, or like you know post death, um, and you do like the autopsy because it's like if they're born with like a brain defect or something, right? Then I think that that's like. So you think there might be like nature. a murderer gene? I don't know if there's a murder gene, but if they have like, if uh, the, the amygdala controls like anger and stuff like that, right? Mine doesn't. <laughs> um, that scares me. Uh, so if like, if there's like a defect in their brain with that and they can't control their anger or yeah. lashing out or anything like that, then I think that's a nature thing. But I think, you know, after watching like the Dahmer series and dude, that's keep so going, keep going, fucking keep going, gross. Keep going, keep going to the test. Keep going. Um, after watching like the Dahmer series and like documentaries on him and uh, and or her, like the John Wayne Gacy tapes and stuff. Oh, I don't like that one. I think that one's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Dahmer's scary, but uh, you, uh, yeah, dude, that yeah, that was when it, they started pulling bodies out of his basement and it just like it went all the way down like through the foundation. And all right, bud. Anyway, I think that is has to do with a lot of nurture. Like his mom was like an alcoholic drug addict. Anyway, let's get into the Patreon episode. Cause I really want to get into 
uh, Alyssa's <laughs> date thing. She, why are you so nervous? Look at her I'm rubbing not her arms. Nervous at all? It's not true. She's nervous. Yes, it is true. We just talk, she, we were literally talking about it for the podcast. A guy reached. We'll talk about it. Um, okay. Thank you guys for staying to the end. If you stay to the end, please send me a. I want to. I, I want a video of your mom saying hi, Zach Justice. Oh, that'll be fun. And then they can add whatever they want at the end. My spank bank's been getting low. All right, guys. <laughs> All see right. ya. Thank you. Unless don't touch that button. Don't you do it. Do it.